Hello, New Life. My name is Pastor Zach, and I'm on uh, the phone or the, the Zoom call with Lena. And so, Lena, we are glad you are here. You just finished Next Steps recently and walked through that, and you want to become a member of New Life. So we are excited about that. So tell us, Lena, um, how long have you been attending New Life? Well, I've been um, part-time part because... Uh, <laughs> My husband and I have our main residence in Maine, um, mm -hmm. but for uh, the last, um, I, 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 I think as close as I can, <laughs> as close as I can count back for the past five years um, yeah. in winters only. So mm -hmm. um, last, this past year though was longer from October and, and I won't be going back to Maine until, until May. Yeah. But uh, yeah. But just when it gets really hot here, that's when you leave, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, well, uh, I came. I came back. Actually, I came back uh, middle September last okay. year, and it was plenty hot. It's still. It, I'm, it, I'm, yep. Yeah, and I'm from the west anyway. I'm from Utah, so you know, I love the I love the warm weather. Yeah, that's Originally great. Originally, well, west. Yeah, that's great. Well, we're glad you're here. We're glad you're part of New Life, and. Um, Tell me, when you went through Next Steps, what was most helpful for you now that you're done with it? Uh, well, it was a, a really good um, overview of everything um, because we'd been um, uh, you know, off on and off for, for a while. I had a pretty good idea, but I especially liked the more in depth about the pastors, you know, being able to see that. But um, it was a good, it was a good overview. So especially had I been only just starting to attend and um, really didn't have much of a, of a, you know, a, a knowledge about what to expect. Yeah. But in general, it, in general, it's a nice overview. That's great. I, I do appreciate. It. Yeah, I appreciate whether if you've been just a few weeks, like some people or like you who've been here for five years in some capacity. Um, we really try to create that experience to help those wherever you're at take kind of your spiritual next step. So I'm glad even for someone like you who've been here for a while and kind of know us a little bit um, that it was a, a good experience. You learned some new things about who new life was. So we're, we're glad you went through mm -hmm. it. Tell us, um, tell me something that God's teaching you right now in your life. Well, um, um, I think God, teaches us to have faith and trust from the very beginning, you know, step by step by step, but um, really, really pushing me into that faith and trust right now because my, my husband recently passed mm -hmm. um, about a year ago at this time. Um, we'd recently retired uh, both from our jobs in, in Maine. He was a lobster fisherman. I was a teacher. Yeah. And, um, this was going to be half of our our year here, and then a, another home that we had, a smaller home that was going to be the other half. So um, with mm -hmm. that coming to a very sudden end, because it, he's passed suddenly, he was not sick. It was totally unexpected. Yeah. We'd come out here and we're visiting grandchildren. So I've had to really trust mm -hmm. more than ever before um, and I've had many opportunities in my life to have to have a lot of faith and trust but this has been um, a day by day um, trusting the Lord to show me what yeah. what I need to be doing yeah well I appreciate you sharing with that with us I know that that's you know you and I have talked a little bit and I've heard some conversations you've had other people like yeah our heart our heart hurts with you as in your loss and um Thank and we've been we've been we've been praying we've been praying for you and you're in as you whatever this is in life um as this next stage of life for you we're just praying for god's grace and goodness as he always is but especially in this season and stuff so, so yeah, yeah thank, thank you. you you're welcome um tell us as you you know you've been part of new life for a little bit but as you be kind of officially become a member of new life or just as your your time here what are you excited about in joining and or where new life is going in the future well um i uh, learning some about the history of of new life too is has really been was really enjoyable because 
it's just, you know, uh, just grown from, from its early beginnings. And you can just see from, from the outside, to me, it just seems like it's really growing, really exploding, really serving um, the community and um, helping people to, to really discover the Lord, really discover Christ. And um, so many people involved with so many different aspects. Yeah. Um, it's a real people church um, and um, uh, so you know I can't help but think that and, and really involved with with the youth and really encouraging them and teaching them to to be followers of Christ and um, and the outreach to um, away from the community as well so I just feel like it's it's just a, a place that's that's really growing and going I guess <laughs> that's the best way to put it I like that I like it. We're, we're really growing and going. That's a, that's a good way to say it. I like it. That, I'm yeah. going to use that somewhere else because it's, it's important. It's okay. not just important. It's not important just to grow, but if you're not going and going and make a difference somewhere, then it's useless. And so um, yeah. that's the learning and developing and growing as followers of Jesus, but then exercising that faith out and to express your yeah. faith and make and making a difference. And that's what we're called to do. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and, and not to just be enclosed in our own little, I, I've been a part in the past of um, some small startups and it just, you know, and not that they couldn't be growing and going too, but some, sometimes it, um, a couple of places that I were, they just get a little stuck and aren't able yeah. to do that. And I, I, uh, so I'm happy to be happy to, to be a part of it. My husband yeah. and I, wanted something similar to the church we had in the east and um which is very similar in the same way and i um i was more of the involved let's go to church than he was but i oh sorry i didn't that's that okay it's, it's fully um, life right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i um uh, i just went online and because we're familiar with cortero mm -hmm. and we're on the way on the other side of the mountains the west mountains but um no you know cortero really well so i saw different churches there and um i don't know what it was that just really attracted me to to you guys um because other sites are good and nice too mm -hmm. um but i told my husband i said this is this is the one we need to try mm -hmm. and he said well okay i'll leave it up to you and then when he found out you had donuts he was <laughs> that was his thing <laughs> so um but you know right from the very beginning i and he and he uh enjoyed coming as well i mean not just the donuts but that was yes. a good start it's been a good fit from the beginning in yeah. my in my heart yeah praise god what would you tell somebody so you know we've had people who've gone through next steps or people who have either gone or brand new to our church and there's been people like you who've been around for a while what would you tell somebody uh where they've been here for, for a few weeks or they've been here for years but they feel maybe disconnected what would you tell them um what to do how would you encourage them today well um for me um especially after after my husband passed because before that we were we knew we were just short time here and part of the time in California with grandchildren and so on. But for me this year, uh, particularly knowing that I would be staying a little longer, um, the different groups that are um, that are available to participate with the seniors for me because I am retired. And um, uh, so I, uh, I think I might have been talking to you actually about mm -hmm. something and and I think Jay must have walked by and said, remember the seniors, you know, yeah. and I didn't even know there was that group. And then from there, I met, I met Lietta and uh, of course I've talked to Maureen and that's led to some, uh, you know, an activity with other women. And um, beyond that though, I see that there are so much going on that there are probably opportunities in a lot of different areas to just start, even if it's a little at a time to serve or to be helpful um, and everyone is so friendly. Um, the, pe the greeters at the door, um, I, you know, I know them, they know me by first name now, I know them. I mean, uh, you know, that, and that was very similar to the 
church we had in the east too that really attracted us to that one i think that's really important um that you don't just walk in and sit down and leave there's some interaction really nice interaction friendly loving interaction with other people that's great a couple things you said there i just want to highlight so one um like just take initiative um we're at actually getting involved in next steps or asking or whatever that is like you, that you Amira, you, you and i had numerous conversations trying to help you find a spot and there's like there's a spot for everyone so take take a little initiative yeah. and we'd love to help and next steps is a great place to, to do that but also thing i heard you say mm -hmm. is you've jumped in and you started serving that you know you everyone has a chance to make a contribution somewhere to life of the church and when you contribute you actually start getting things re, re, you receive things back and i know you've talked yeah. about that just yeah, jumping right. in and, and uh you are yeah. you are a benefit now of the time you're investing into somebody else's life and so um so take initiative and you have something to contribute. And when you give, you actually receive back more than you can give. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that's a really yeah. big, that's a really important. Yeah. Yeah. And and then of course the next steps led into that as well, because I then was more in conversation with Maureen. And mm -hmm. you know, just one thing leads to another. And the next steps, if nowhere else, it, you know, yeah. would start that process. Yeah. 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 So, Lena, we are glad you're part of New Life. We're glad you're part of our church family. We're glad um, that you're here and participating and engaging in life of the church. And, um, you know, if it's up to us, we, you would stay here all year round and just have your grandkids move here. We don't want you to leave. Um, but we know you'll come back in, uh, in the fall. But we are, um, we are glad that, you, that this, is your, this is your church home when you're here in Tucson. And, um, and I, we're glad that you are, you are part of us and you're contributing god's family and god's kingdom here and so we are officially you know we've welcomed you before into our church but we are officially as glad that you are a member of new life and uh we just want to make sure everyone in new life kind of knows a little bit of your story and who you are and how god's working in your life and how god is using you to make a difference in our church so welcome and we're glad you're here well thank you i'm i'm glad too and i need to and i also need to say that you are really a great face of the church every sunday morning with your smile and 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 willingness to help and just like you talk to me you know about this or that if i had a question so i really appreciate you you're and, welcome uh, yeah I'm, so i'm glad yeah i'm glad to be an official member yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you have a great day lena